money moves with MIM 2.0, the podcast. And always remember, gentlemen, it's a mother movie. So, today we're going to be talking about men not being persistent when it comes to dating modern women. You know, because there was a time in the evolution of mankind where women like guys to be persistent. But we're going to be talking about why men are not persistent when it comes to dating modern women. So guys, without further ado, make sure you guys please like, share, and subscribe, and let's get straight into the content. So it used to be a time when men would see a woman, approach her, you know, try to impress her or whatever. And then he would do it again. He, he, he'll see the same chick and he'll try harder. And women looked at this as a man's like really interested in her. But now a lot of modern women are asking modern men, you know, like, why are we not persistent when it comes to approaching them, when it comes to vetting them, when it comes to um, dating these women? And it's really simple. The answer is really simple because us as men, we have seen we're not just caveman, you know, we're not, um, this is not the, the 1800s and stuff like that. We are aware of laws that is being passed. We are aware of men who might not even did anything to a woman, but yet this man ends up incarcerated or this man ends up on child support for kids that's not even his. Or this man ends up, you know, locked up. End up he ends up without losing more from being persistent with you than he's gaining. You know, men have realized that we're not gaining anything from being persistent you know and a lot of women they don't a lot of modern women don't do not know what they want you know it was a time where you had executive um executive guys who own these companies and and now they're scared to be one-on-one -on -one with a woman you know, because of the sexual harassment claims that women make. So, um, um, a lot of, we're, we're seeing more times where guys will, will, will hire the unattractive lady, somebody he has no interest in, than another woman. You know, we're seeing it's a time where if a guy it has a company. And he's going to do an interview with a woman. He's going to bring another man in the interview to be a witness so he will not be alone with you. You know, you guys, shout out. I mean, ladies, I, I don't understand what you guys want, you know, because you guys fought for, fought for all these different laws, you know, praising feminism and stuff. You know, I know, you know, I understand that women should be treated right, you know, and stuff like that. But a lot of these laws that's being passed is overboard. So a lot of guys are not being persistent at all. A lot of guys are not approaching. They're not going to approach you. Let me just be real. A lot of guys are not going to approach you. And 
the ugly you are and if you have kids, the more unlikely a guy's going to approach you. It was back in the day where guys would take a chance and be like, hey, what's up, little mama? I see you every day and stuff like that. Now, today in 2024, um, you have women out here who would say, oh, you know, they'll call the police on this guy and say, oh, he's stalking me. You know, let me tell you a story about me. When I first got here, I met this chick and I thought she was cool. She took a bath with the door open and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking I'm about to smash, you know, and stuff. And so... Out of that, she was telling me that I had to pay rent and, sh and stuff, you know, and stuff like that, which I didn't mind. But she didn't want to get with the draw. She had a one-bedroom apartment. And so this lady called the police on me for no reason. I left, like, didn't do anything to her, and she called the cops. So persistent, being persistent, guys are not, you know gonna be per guys are done with being persistent guys are done with approaching women we let you, nine times out of ten we let you approach and then we decide if you're valuable enough to be on the team you know guys are very careful you know, with all these women with their, uh, uh, all, all these women with their extra sensitivity, you can't even say, dang, mom, them, you, you can't even say, damn, mom, them leggings fitting you right. Oh, you look good. And you fat too. Cause a lot of you ladies be wearing provocative clothes and stuff. But then no sooner the guy comments on what you're wearing and how you look in it and how you make me feel or us feel, then you want to call the cops or you want to say, Oh, it's sexual harassment or you are harassing us or this or that. So, that's why a lot of ladies are going to be single and alone. Let me say that again. A lot of modern women are going to be single and alone. Guys are not going for the okie doke. It's been plenty of times before I, before I even got married. You know, before I even got married, when I was still hollering at women, it was like a time period went by where women just, you can't even approach women no more without them um, um, getting all overly aggressive and uh, coming up with assumption and thinking that they're Kim Kardashian. That's something which Kim Kardashian is not nothing special. You know, we're all regular people. And so, man, we we, we see, and most of us, we're about self-preservation. And we're trying to build a legacy, you know. You can't build a legacy when you have people in your circle that's not supposed to be in your circle. So, guys, ladies, take it with a grain of salt, man. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, fellas. It's a mother movie.